Hello guys, today is Tuesday 24th of March 2015 and time you can see quarter past 6 around and it's London time. I'm going to continue pound dollar uh, analysis right now I'm watching weekly chart as we can see it's still a uh, bearish candle uh, but uh, the MACD still is bullish and uh, Momentum yellow line is turning up. So let's move on to the daily Right what we see uh, You know Yesterday uh, you can see this is hammer uh, and uh, Still uh, price basically refused to break uh, one five thousand resistance area uh, But what we see at the bottom we can see the Flex stochastic is still above 80 and the MACD is still bullish uh, and uh, the momentum is basically uh, bearish momentum is decreasing too. Uh, we'll see how is going to what candle is going to perform today but still uh, technical point of view you can see the price still is in consolidation zone. All right let's move on to the four hour okay what we see yesterday we can see a nice uh, you know uh, bearish movement and then after that pull back and then it's look like the price continuity of uh, the bullish uh, at the bottom what we see um, the momentum still is bullish and is above this below white line um, uh, we'll see today uh, let's uh, move on to the one hour and plan a trade today trades Alright, so what I'm looking today, uh, but before that, I'm just going to mention you about uh, yesterday trade. Um, as I mentioned that if the price uh, break uh, this and or uh, this, uh, you know, support area, and that's the trend resistance line. So then I'm looking either long or at a short opportunity. And what happened after that you can see the price broken this support area and the best line and you can see there was a nice movement from here to here around about 60 pips and as I mentioned yesterday my target was this area uh, so you can see the price nicely uh, respect this blue balance line and hit the target and after that again another basically uh, you know um, long opportunity as the momentum is bullish so it was a, in a nice opportunity for long hair as you can see at the bottom you can see there was a diversion too so nice two trades uh, yesterday short trade from here to here around about 70 pips and from here to here around about again 64 pips so what is the agenda for today uh, what we're going to do today uh, we're going to modify recent support and resistance line and We'll plan a trade today. Okay, that's the basically uh, you can see here um, Resistance uh, and then uh, if I did from here to here you can see here again uh, Is the triangle? Yeah, and that's what I'm looking uh, breakout uh, I'm more interested about let me remove this one here. I'm more interested about the bullish breakout as Because of the below momentum is, is bullish, but we'll see uh, you know still uh, Let's move into the 5,000 Okay, so let's see uh, we had a very powerful uh, you know resistance uh, here and uh, uh, and you can see the Bollinger Band is squeezing too but I'm more interested about the breakout of this triangle and uh, as I said earlier that I usually go in five minutes to validate these entries and then I take my entry accordingly all right let's see if there's any financial high impact news today all right we have a uh, high impact news around 9.30 a.m. for pound and we have a couple of uh, medium impact news as well uh, and we also have uh, in a dollar 12.30 p.m. London time we have a two high impact news and a couple of them is you know uh, medium impact news so let's see how these news is going to react so I'm most probably interested about after 9 30 let's see what's going to happen into the market 
all right guys that's it um, for today and have a safe trading and i'll see you tomorrow thank you